Hey, right, I'm Ben John, the rugby trainer, and I'm here at the Ospreys with Reese Webb, Lions, Wales, and Osprey Scrum Half. Mick, thanks for coming out, sharing your tips. Oh, thanks for having me. Awesome. And what Reese is going to do for us today is show us his famous show and go and how he gets so much change from that moment. No, so it's, uh, it's obviously it's a lot of thing, a lot of hard work that goes into it. It's not as easy as just showing and going. Um, just when obviously it starts off when you're approaching the rack. Just move the sun down. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So that's the rack there. Um, so obviously I'm running into the rack. And as I'm looking in, so it's Ben, it's Ben there, Ben I see his eyes are looking up there. So I know straight away as I go to the gap, he's gone. And this gives me the opportunity to go straight through the gap. Um, Obviously, it's not on all the time. Obviously, if it's, if it's slow ball, then the, the defender's going to be set. Then the most of the time now they're talking, I got nine, I got nine. So I know that when I'm coming in, it's going to be released straight away. Whereas the speed sometimes it happens mostly on speed of ball. So I'm coming in, defender's not set. They're more concerned about what's going on out there. And they switch off and then through, through I go. So with that, your, your setup is exactly the same when you pass it, when you show the goal. So you're showing that same picture. Every time. Yeah, set them exactly the same. So it's just obviously I'm just coming in, got on my toes like for bed, and there, there, gone. So yeah, as I'm coming in, approaching the ball. And that happens, and you do the show go. How important is this little period of acceleration, and what do you think of when you go through? Yeah, it's obviously the big thing for us is come out of that first five steps as well. That's where the, that's where the power comes from. Um, but like I say, not just planting my feet and not like park, so parking the bus. Yeah. Coming in, I'm light on my feet, on my toes, and then I lift, bang, and gone. gone. Watch out, I'm swinging, mate. <laughs> I'm fresh, yeah. yeah, but that's the thing, it's, like you see, it's, I know a lot of youngsters these days, they obviously see people doing it and they want to try and do it all the time, but it's not on all the time. It's, you have to be mindful of how the game's going, what the situation is, and then sort of the body language of the defenders. So sometimes they could just not be set as. The so if you understand there's the pillar there, sometimes he could not be there, so go out a little bit wider and the gap isn't actually there, so then it's just sort of picking up and going. Yeah. So you, don't need, you don't need the dummy. But like you say, it's, the more it works for a scrum half, is if you just keep passing the ball sort of like 10 15 times in the game, and then that split second they can get they think you're going to pass it, and then you're gone. It's a lot of homework goes, uh, goes on in the week just to look who I'm playing against, what sort of what sort of their, their traits are. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's been on for years now, and sort of like opposition are singling me out. I got nine, I got nine, I got nine. So in your head, then it's like, right, they've got nine, but pass, pass, pass. So then maybe the first half, I just passed every single one. And then the second half, then they get a little bit tired, and it's like, bang. Yeah. That's the second, their eyes are fixing on the 10, yeah. and I've gone. Nice, love that. So what we're going to do now is just get the drill together so we can all just start practicing that, right? Perfect. So right, this is the sort of drill I use. Um, I just play around with the cones and defenders. Um, and I move them about. So, for example, now, if the defender is in close there, I know straight away his body language is he's got me, he's on me. There's a certain voice there just to get the ball away. Okay? But if, if he's out here, sometimes that's, that's in case there's quick ball. So I'm coming in, I see he's out there, his eyes are there. Come on. Straight through. So, uh, after session, it's been. Three or four minutes just coming in, getting to that process, getting that position, showing and going. Yeah, and it's just all like a little like I mentioned earlier, it's you don't want to be just going to the rack, head down, planting the foot, and just sort of like kind of robot. As we're coming in, so as I'm coming in, I see he's out there already, I see his eyes still out there. Thank you. With that coming in and you're looking at this defender, do you have a process of as you're approaching, you look, you check there, you check with the tennis, you check with the rocket, is it? Do you have this? Yeah, no, it's just, uh, so I was nine, but obviously following the player, we have to be there every rock. So if you're my 10, I know where you, I know where you are. So I, as I'm approaching the rock there, I can see where you are now, even not looking at you, I know where you are. And then, so when I'm coming in, my eyes are looking at the end, even though I'm looking at the ball, yeah. I'm still, I can see what's going on there. So as I'm coming in, you're there. Sure. So you don't have to, you don't have to look at the 10, you don't have to look at the 
defenders, but really you are looking at them, but just something can all get to So you're using that peripheral vision, which so is yeah, looking at his finger like you see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Nice bet. Just to round it up, just a couple of tips on finishing off that show and go so we can just reinforce that okay. skill. So tip number one, I think, is just uh, just staying on your toes, not, not planting. And then secondly, just scanning. And then that third tip is just accelerating your number to go through. Nice. Awesome tips, awesome drills there. Make sure you add these to your post session extras. Man, anything from you? No, that's great. Where can they find you for more? Uh, Instagram. Instagram. And uh, Reese puts a lot of content on there and the Scrum Half stuff, so make sure you check that out. Man, awesome. Okay. Okay. Cheers.